Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Django app from a Docker image from Docker Hub. So let's begin with the process. So guys, first of all, we need to create a Docker image for our Django app. So let's head to VS Code and now we can create a Docker file for Django app. So I have a sample Django app right here, which is just a single pager app, which just shows this is a sample Django project. So I have this uh, app right here in the Django app folder. So I'll now create a uh, docker file for this django app so for this i have already created a docker file here if you don't know how to create a docker file you can check our other video on how to create a docker file for a django app all right so i have built a standard django docker file here which is importing the python environment which is python 3.9 then setting the work directory to slash app then we just run some uh, update commands for our linux system and then we can copy the requirements.txt to the root of docker image and then we can install the requirements using the command pip install no cache there hyphen r requirements.txt and then we can copy the whole django app in the root of our image and then exposing the 8000 port gives us access to our django uh, service port, port which is the 8000 port itself and then we can finally run the command which will be run by gunicon for production purposes so this command is represented by gunicon and uh, putting the workers flag as three so we have three workers serving this app then we can bind our local host and then we can finally uh, run the command as test.wsgi application. All right, so this is a standard Docker file for a Django app. If you have static files inside your Django app as well, Django app as well you can copy those. You can run python minus dot collect static after you copy the Django app. So you can run it right here, which is run python minus dot collect static, but I do not currently have any static files, so that will not work for me. So I'll just remove it from here. And also, uh, if you want to set some environment variables, you can set it inside this docker image itself but you can use the env keyword and then you can write the key value pair right here all right perfect so i think we have standard docker image prepared for a django app and now we can build this image for building the image we can simply run docker build if you don't have docker installed in your system you can install it easily with one of our tutorials on how to how to install docker in your system so for windows you need to enable docker desktop for that and i think it is enabled for me as visible here perfect and now I can run the Docker build command for this. So for this, we can run Docker build, and then we can build the image by the name of our Docker Hub repository. So basically, we have a repository in Docker Hub right here, which is represented by this username, parts 2 k 3 And I have some uh, more repositories inside this, some more images in this, like the Flask image and the Nginx image. So I can push, I can basically build my image directly so that I can tag it to my Docker Hub username. So how do we build the image like that is we can create first of all we can just write docker build hyper t and then we can now write the name of the image as the username slash whatever we want to keep the name of our images which is django for me and then you can uh just write hyphen f for referencing referencing to the docker file for django app which is doc file dot django and then a single dot so this should build our django image with the name of Path to k3 slash django so we can directly push this image to our docker hub repository all right so i'll just build this image now first of all i'll save this image file and then i can build it so i think it will take some time all right so we have built built our image let's test it out by seeing docker images so we have an image right here which is path to k3 slash django now we can directly push it to our docker repository if we have named it something like flask or something like django which is just a single name then we would have to first tag that image to our repository username slash the repository name so we have uh, already tagged that beforehand by naming our uh, docker image as parts to k3 slash django which is my docker username slash the repository name all right perfect so now we can push this image to docker hub by running the command docker push and then just the name of my image, which is this. And then the tag for this image is just latest. All right, so this will start the pushing process and it will just take a few seconds, two minutes to push it to Docker Hub. So we have pushed our image to docker hub now we can check it by heading to our docker hub repository list and then if i refresh it i should see a docker image for my django app as well all right so i can see it right here we have uh, pushed our django image inside our docker hub 
perfect. So now we can move on to the next step. And before that, if uh, Docker is not pushing to your repository, if it's private, then you need to first of all log in into your Docker. And to log in into Docker, you can just simply run Docker login and it will be redirect uh, to the steps for logging into Docker for you. So now we can move to the next part, which is heading up to our EC2 service on AWS. So we can first of all build an instance by clicking on launch instance, and then we can uh, name our instance something like Django app or something like that. Then we can uh, also pull, uh, we can also choose an OS for us. I'll just choose Ubuntu here. And then we can also select our instance type. So I'll just keep it micro because it is really eligible. Then I can also select a key pair name. Uh, this is used for SSH access, so we do not have to worry about this right now. And for the network settings, we need to enable HTTPS and HTTP traffic so we so the public can actually access our uh, instance using the public IP address of an instance. All right, so I think I'll just keep all the other details as it is, and now I'll create the instance by this launch instance button, and our instance will be created in seconds. Perfect. So now we have our instance on board, and now we'll connect to it by just selecting this instance and then click on connect. So we'll connect it using EC2 instance connect. So this will connect to our instance directly in the browser. All right, perfect. So we are inside our instance now and I can simply run some commands like sudo app update to update our package list. So it will just update our package list. All right. So before moving on to working with instance, we can also create an Nginx image for our Django app. So we can directly run both the images, the Nginx and the Django app together with the Docker Compose file. So Docker Compose is used to run multiple Django images together. So we will run the Django app image and the Nginx together using the Docker Compose.yml file. So both the services will run together. So we'll just need to run one command, which is Docker Compose up to run both the services and make our app go live. All right, so now we'll uh, create a Docker file for Nginx which is a Django Nginx. So how do we create that is, first of all, I can create a file here, something like Docker file dot Nginx. I have already created here. So I had created this file for my Flask app, so I can modify it a little bit. So the Docker file dot Nginx remains the same, which is from Nginx. We have to import the Nginx image. Then you can run the remove function by we will remove the default default dot configuration file inside our image first of all and then we will copy our default our own default dot conf inside that folder so this default dot conf is the is a, a file which we have to create in our local system so this is where our default dot conf lies so i'll go to this this is currently configured for a flask app so we'll modify this to work with our django app all right so how do we modify this first of all we keep the server as it is then we listen the at port now for the server name we can change it change it to our django apps instance public ip so now we can get it from the Django app instance, and then I'll see a public IP here. So this is the IP for our instance. Now I can paste it right here. Perfect. And now we can proxy pass to the Django container instead of Flask container. So I can put something like um, Django because that's the name of our image that we have pushed. Uh, we will name inside our Docker Compose file. Something you can put at anything. We will name it later. Anyways, we will name it later inside our Docker Compose file. I'll just put here Django app. You can even put Django container or something like that, anything you want. I'll just put Django. And then we will take the 8000 port for that because Django stores the 8000 port. All right, and I have kept all other parameters as it is, which is proxy at header host. And then I'm going to set it to the host variable, the XL IP as the mode address, and X forwarded for as the proxy add X forward for. So I think this is uh, a good enough Nginx file for our Django configuration. So now I can push this in the next image. How I'm going to push it is first of all, I'm going to build that image. Docker build hyphen T, and then I'm going to name my image as part 2k3 slash nginx. And then I can put the hyphen F. I can reference to the file at docker file dot nginx. And then I'm going to put the dot. This will build our image for us. All right, so our image has been built. If I check inside the Docker images, they should be present now. It was already present, but I have overridden it for my Django configuration. So now we can push this image to our Docker Hub by running the command docker push part 2k3 slash nginx. This, this shall push the image to Docker Hub. All right, that was quick. So I think now we should have our updated nginx image inside our Docker Hub. I'll just update it to see if it has been modified. Yeah, perfect. So it has been changed last less than a minute ago. So we have our updated Nginx image right here. 
Perfect. Now we can move on to the next step, which is setting up our EC2 instance. Now we have an EC2 instance ready here, and I have updated all my uh, packages here, so I can now install some dependencies for my EC2 instance. So for this, I can install uh, that using sudo app install docker.io. Then I'm going to install git. Then I'm going to install Python 3. And I can even install Python 3 environment. But I think I do not need any of these because uh, my image will be done only using Docker. So I can just install docker.io and I'll just confirm it. So after installing docker.io, we can also install Docker Compose. And for installing that, we can run sudo app install docker compose. So I'll just run that after this. All right, so now I can run the next command, which is sudo apt install doc compose. So this shall install docker compose for us. All right, perfect. So now we need to pull that those images for us. But first of all, what we can do is create a docker compose file, which will pull both the images and run that run them for us as well. So we can create a docker compose file here by running the command sudo nano docker compose dot yml. So this shall create a file named docker compose environment and now i can start writing my docker compose file so first of all i'm going to reference to a version which is 3.8 although it does not matter the new versions of docker compose but i just write it for reference then i can start declaring my services so for services i have to use the services keyword and then i can start declaring my services like django something like that and i'm going to put in django app and then i can reference the image as now i can put the url for my repository which is path 2 k 3 slash django so this will be our image and the tag for it which is latest then i can also name this container which is container name i can name it django this is the same name which we have kept in our nginx configuration then we can uh make some other configuration like restart set to always so our service always restarts when it is restarted or shut down now we can expose the port which is an 8000 port. All right, and now we can set some environment variables if we want to. I do not have currently any environment variables, so I'll skip that part. All right, and now we can set up our Nginx service, which we can name as Nginx. Then we can uh, take the image as path to get 3 slash Nginx. This is the name of our, of our image inside docker hub and the latest stack as well then we can name the container as uh, something like nginx or something you want then we can also set the restart configuration to always and then we can just set another thing which just depends on and this depends on the django app to start before our nginx can actually start up so if there are any uh, uh, errors inside our uh if there are any errors inside inside our Django app, so our Nginx will also automatically does not start. All right, so now I can name it Django. Then we can move on and if there's some ports, which is, I think there's just one port for Nginx, which is 80. So I'll just bind 84 to 84. All right, I think we have configured the Google Compose uh, Docker Compose file for us. And now I can save this file using Control O, Enter, and Control X. And now we can move on to the next step, which is enabling Docker inside our instance. So how do we enable and start that service is by running the command sudo system ctl start docker. This will start Docker for us. And now we can also enable that service using Docker using enable command. Perfect. And now we can move on to the next step, which is I think. Uh, the most of the part is done now if i simply run docker compose up the, that should start up both of my services so now i'll run that but before that i need to actually log in into my docker account docker hub account so i so my docker compose file can actually pull the images from that account all right so how i will do that is just write in the command which is sudo docker login and this has prompt me to enter the username and password for it so i'll just enter that here after entering the username and password, it should prompt you that login is succeeded. Perfect. So now we can run our Docker Compose file with the command sudo docker compose up. And I can also build that because we need to first pull the images as well. That's why I will pass the build flag here. All right. So apparently, this should run our application now. So let us run this command.
and it will start pulling all the images for us. So first of all, it's going to pull the Django image, then it will pull the Nginx image, and then it will start both the services with the Docker Compose configuration. All right, so as you can see, we have our Django app running right here. So if I now go to my public IP, which is here, then I head up to it. Okay, it says which is in invalid HTTP host header. So we need to add this IP address to our allowed hosts variable inside the settings app. So I'll just do that right now. We can uh, go inside the Django app and then we can uh, go to the settings. And in the allowed host section, we can add this IP address. And just for testing purposes, I will add all the URLs by indicating a star. All right, so now I can build this image again and push it again. For this, I'll turn the same, same, same command and then the same command for pushing as well. All right, so we have pushed our new image now. So we can go to our instance and then we can remove. First of all, we have to remove the old containers and images. So we can check our running containers or the, all the containers here. And now we can remove these containers by the uh, command sudo docker rm nginx and django which are the containers names so we have to move them now we also remove the docker images which is which is uh, which can be removed as docker rmi and now the name of images which is part 2k3 slash nginx and part 2k3 slash django so this should remove all the images in our system perfect now we can again run the command sudo docker compose build which can uh, which will again take a pull from docker hub and for nginx as well django and nginx and then it will run our service for us so let's wait for that All right, so let's now test our application at our public IP. If I refresh this, I should be able to view our Django app. Perfect, so this was the Django app, uh, which is as a standard Django uh, template. So I had deployed this only, and we have successfully deployed this on our AWS EC2 instance using Docker Hub and Docker Files. So perfect, so we have learned how we can deploy a Django app using Docker Files, Docker Hub, and Nginx Docker File uh, we're using on AWS EC2 instance. So yeah guys, I think that's it for the video and thanks for watching.